Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. It's about five years that we have had our CLK320 with M112 engine. And to celebrate that, I've got a gift for my CLK. Hope you uh, get encouraged to do this project because it has five benefits. First of all, in this way, there will be no oil leaks coming from these PCV hoses. Second, there will be no oil leaks from the gasket, especially the rocker cover gasket, which is a big job to change it. Not a big job, but a messy job at least. And you basically and generally and overly keep your engine clean because of a healthy PCV system makes a good vacuum inside the ventilation system and that causes less oil leak. You will inhale a better and cleaner air because all that fume crankcase smells won't come into the cabin. Fourth, you will get a better performance because any air leak from these hoses are going to be unmetered ones and they're definitely going to affect the performance of the car. And finally, and the fifth, which is important as well these days with the fuel cost, it's going to consume less fuel with a healthy PCV system. So stay tuned. It's not going to take long. I'm going to show you all the part numbers which I have here. A 112018042, A 112018022, A 112018029, and A 112018032 very cheap now you can buy all of the four uh, in one kit and even you buy it from uh, a third party uh, store like even aliexpress or ebay it's not gonna cost you more than 20 dollars so it's well worth it if you have ever forgotten replacing these by this time they should be very brittle and dry okay all you need to do is carefully remove the cover of your M112 or M113 engine. Remove these two hoses and you don't need to co completely remove them and then push it up. And that's all you need to do. Make sure you don't break these clips. There are four of them around. Now a great time to have a look around the engine and see if we have had any oil leaks after replacing the breather cover gasket which is not a gasket, but we use gasket maker or silicone and also a gasket for the rocker cover or valve cover. So let's quickly have a look. And at the first glance, after almost three years, I can see a little bit of uh, oil over here, but that's very small, small amount and it's not even gone down. So as far as I can see, very good on this side. And over here, almost no leak from here. Just a little leak started to happen after almost three years uh, from this breather cover. It's almost, this engine almost has 10K on it now, uh, 10, 15K. Apart from that, it's not much really. And honestly, it has been kept in a very good shape and has been a reliable car. I love the M112 engine because it's very simple, only one camshaft sensor, not much to worry about. Okay, to remove these four uh, hoses, uh, for these small ones, we don't need to uh, remove the airflow meter, but for the bigger one over here, this one, I recommend you to remove the airflow meter. The connector comes loose just like this by pushing on these two tabs, so one, spring clips behind uh, over here as you can see for the airflow meter and then the airflow meter should come loose and put it aside just like that you need to make sure when putting back you include this washer and there are few positions that you need to fix that washer you see there are these indentations Let's remove this from here. It should be pretty easy, just like that. And this one is not in good shape. And then remove it from this side by just pulling on it. 
Got a bit of twisting. And there we go. So here I recommend replacing one by one. And this one is that. Just like that. Can use a bit of uh, silicone lubricant as well. And then this one goes back where it should go easily and then we continue to the next one that that's done it's pretty greasy oily inside and then we continue from the other side so the good thing is you can remove these two together but then then again you need to take off this plastic uh, piece over here so let's do this one at a time as well. That's the one we need. Okay, before putting back this one, replacing it, it's a better idea to remove this one because it's a bit of a tight location, especially when it comes uh, to the manifold side of it. This one removing shouldn't be a problem. And if yours is extra dry use a heat gun for the removal and then checking on the other side this is where it actually goes underneath the airflow meter and that comes out like that and this is the replacement It's hard to see it, but, and it's very tight as well. It would be even uh, tighter on the M113 engine because you've got two extra cylinders. Okay, this is a bit of a touching game, so, and it goes easily in because these are brand new hoses, not a problem. Okay, so we are complete here. The only one left is this one over here. And it goes in easily. It's tricky. We're getting there. Yeah, that's it. So, so successfully we have replaced all of the hoses, four of them. And now it's time to put back the airflow meter. But first, make sure uh, you can use a silicone. Uh, Spray over here as well. Let's turn it just a little bit, push it into its place. And yeah, at some point it locks itself where it should and that's where it should be. Make sure your airflow meter is nice and clean. And I think this one looks clean because I replaced it a year ago. It shouldn't be dirty at all if your air filter is good. And then it's seated pretty good. So we can now put everything back. Just make sure to check all of the, these plugs for the coils. And also it's a good time to check your uh, solenoids for the EGR valves and these as well, because you don't want to get a vacuum leak on those ones, but these are looking very nice and tight. Uh, I don't think I have any problem with it, but at some point we will be back here and replacing those as well. Okay guys, the only thing left is putting back the air filter box and uh, starting the M112 engine. Now let's start the engine and see how it sounds.
Okay guys, M112 is now running beautifully. This was a quick and easy and a good gift to yourself and your car. It affects performance, the smell and the sound and everything in between on your M113 and M112 engine. Hope you enjoy this video. Enjoy your Mercedes. Bye. Phil.